Hey guys, Last Stop Reviews here, just doing part two of the Automator video I just made. As you can see, it's the same screen, I just stopped it, I'm gonna do this one really fast. But, if you're cool with this and maybe you want to go a little bit more technical, it's really not that difficult. All you do is come over here, save it as a workflow, which just set it up just like so. I've actually already got it over here. and. Just go ahead and close that one out. You can pull it up later if you, if you need to. Uh, just open it up a new one, make it a custom, and just pretty much drag it right in there. Now, if you're like me and you kind of have a regiment you go through in the morning, you get up, check weather, check emails, whatnot, as far as the computer goes, there's no reason not to just go ahead, have it waiting for you. So, first thing I normally check is the Times application. It just came out, with the, just came with a Mac Heist bundle and I'm finding myself using it a lot. It's great for any type of news. So what do I do? Just come over here, find finder item. Well, actually, before I do this, I'm actually going to make it its own workflow. That way if I need, that way this is uncluttered as possible and it's just a little cleaner looking easier to edit stuff later on. So as I was saying, find finder item you can do it that way, easier way, get selected, find it, sorry, get specified, finder item. And by doing that, you can just come in, get the thing you want. It's in my applications folder, right there. There it is, times. And just come down here, open finder item, and boom, there it is. Now, second thing I do in the morning, email, weather, just see what the weather's gonna be like. I'm from Missouri, so one day it's 70 degrees, the next day it's snowing. Not kidding, happened two weeks ago. So, easiest way to do, just get specified URLs. Apple's just kind of a default, you can get rid of it. I'm going, don't hit delete, I do that all the time. Just gets rid of the whole stinking thing. So, get re remove it, because if I go to the Apple website, I wanna buy an iMac, because right now I'm just running the MacBook Pro, sorry, MacBook, with the, a cinema display. So type in the things you want to check out. Lately I've been ch checking my Twitter, feed, Twitter feeds a lot. Um, email, really whatever you want to put in there. Um, if there's one website you really get up, maybe you check one website, take a shower, come back, check the rest. Go ahead and put it actually at the bottom down here because since it opens up in tab views, that's actually the easiest that'll be the one that is shown first. So for me, first thing I always want to check in the morning, bar none, no exception, is Weather Channel. See what's going on. Now, one really nice feature I love about this is you can open up a website, for instance, open up my Gmail right here, get this current page, and there it is. It'll label it for you perfectly. You don't have to worry about coming through here, so if you've got like a certain, I don't know, live feed you go to, maybe there's forums you visit a lot. I visit car forums a lot, and so if there's a specific kind of like subsection in there, and you don't want to have to go through typing out the huge URL for it, just go ahead, open up the page, current Safari page, you're good to go. Now, maybe you don't want to, ch you have a big set and you don't really want to check them all all the time. Just it's easy, just unclick them, then I'm not going to pop up for you. But, just quick demonstrate right here. Sorry, I forgot one step. Display web pages. Close that back out. And so, just set it for a plug-in in the morning, and this is going to be what you wake up to. Um, you'll get your weather, you'll get email, everything you need. So, now that you have that set up as you like it, just again, just do a save as workflow. I'm just going to call this application log, save it to the desktop, make it nice and simple for myself, and then close that out, save it, you can come back to it if you need to. So now, just drag and drop again. That's actually one I just made and for a different video, so don't really need that anymore. But now that you have this, I mean, it'll run through just like if you did it all individually and you can actually get a little bit more technical with it well it's not more technical it's just kinda added steps and 
One thing I've actually went ahead and did was, I'll actually show you really quickly here. If my there we go, is I've got my first alarm with kind of soft music in case those mornings pretty much already awake before the alarm comes up. No reason to kind of jar me out of bed. So have that there. Then so that way you can select different songs. And yes, I know you can do that, and by just making a playlist. One thing you cannot do with a playlist, though, well. You can, but it's a little bit more technical. It's a little bit more difficult to do it that way. So what I've done is actually just made additional alarms, where my volume just just goes up between the two of them. So my second alarm not that loud. Third alarm a little louder. Just wake me up in the morning. Um, I like it. it. It does really well to wake me up normally by song two. I'm up, no problems whatsoever. Song three a little louder. Just just those mornings I'm kind of grudgeant to get up so but guys automator is an awesome piece of software definitely get in mess with it if you have any issues with it just let me know um, I don't have that many subscribers yet so I'm more than happy to work with anyone hit me up on Twitter it's nickwell24 I'll actually uh, put a link over whichever way it is I'm not sure if this is gonna flip it on me or not but Guys, just hit me up. Um, if you just put in a comment on the box, then I've got my YouTube set up. So any comment, any message to me in my inbox sends a nice little message to my email, which is on my phone. So I've always, I'm pretty much always connected somehow. So if you need some, need help, just give me a little sh shout out because I'm doing this for you guys. Um, I've gotten a lot from people like John for John Forlakers, Morpheus, and so I'm just kind of doing my own little give back here. So feel free, hit me up. And this has just been a quick little overview of Automator and some of the cool things you can do with it. I might might build on this a little bit more once I get more into it, but right now I'm just going to kind of leave it at this. See if there's much more interest in it. But guys, it's been Last Stop Reviews, and just hit me up if you need anything.